Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and it's the first of the month and the first of a new year so it is time for another sheet load of cards. I hope you'll stick around, see and hear a little bit more about the sketch this month, see the first set I made, and find out how you can download the file for free if you're a subscriber to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. First off, Happy New Year. I am so glad that 2021 is here and I hope that this year has much better things in store for us than the previous year. If you're new to my channel or new to my sheet load of cards videos, what I do is stop by on the first day of each month and share with my subscribers a free PDF printable. It is a two page file and on the first page I give you the sketch for the month and the supply list. This helps you make a sheet load of cards with usually just a few pieces of pattern paper and some cardstock. Sheet loads usually yield 6 to 12 cards each month and this month, January 2021, if you follow the sketch and the cutting guides, you will yield 9 finished cards. Now if you like the sketch but you don't want to make a whole bunch of them, I also provide the dimensions of each piece. That way you can just make one or two using those. I also like to provide some alternative ideas or other ways to use the sketch. This might be rotating the sketch, using foam tape between the layers, adding embellishments or die cuts. You can use sheet load as a jumping off point and add whatever you want to make it your own. And then on the second page of the file, I give you the cutting guides. I show you how to cut each piece of pattern paper as well as each of the card stocks. And I do try to make the most of the card stock and pattern paper to maximize how many cards you can make. One thing before we get further into the video that I do want to mention this month, I know that last month I started having you put in a password to download the file and then you would have to put it in each time you opened it. I do have a little update on that, so make sure to watch to the end of the video so you know what you have to do from here on out. For my sketch for January, I decided to try something a little bit newer. I don't always mat each of the pattern paper pieces on my card sketch, but this month I decided to go for it. So you will notice that you might need a little bit more cardstock than usual. But if you don't want to mat all these pieces, or use as much cardstock as is called for, I will be back later in the month to show you how you can use this same layout just with less cardstock. For January 2021, you need three 12 by 12 pattern paper pieces. You need six solid colored cardstocks for matting and for the sentiment. You need five of one color and then one of probably white or off-white for your image or sentiment. And then of course you need the cardstock for the card bases. This month you'll need five pieces of eight and a half by 11 and that will actually yield you one extra card base that you can just use for another project. And something that I want you to note before you get started, if you're going to get started before my process video tomorrow, is that whenever you see a measurement that is like 5.125 inches, I have had questions in the past when I use dimensions like that and 0.125 is also equal to 1 8 inch. So you would cut it at 5 and 1 8 inches if that's what it calls for. You might notice when you download and print your file this month that the cutting guidelines for the cardstock might seem a little intimidating. This is definitely more involved than past sheet loads, but once again, that is just so you can have all the matting on your pattern paper pieces. So instead of just having one way to cut the card stock and only getting one piece from each one, you know, like either A, B, or C, you're going to do a variety of cutting 
to get all of the pieces you'll need for the mats. So for CS2, you need three pieces that you'll cut in the same way, and then you'll want two more pieces of cardstock, but you will be cutting those in slightly different ways. Now don't forget, tomorrow I will be back with the process video to help you kind of go through this and figure it out if you want help. And also, my collaborators will be joining me and showing you their first set of the month. So make sure to stop back by. Before I show you my first set for the month, I thought I would share with you the main products I use to create this card. First off, this month I do have a free printable for subscribers where I went ahead and just gave you some basic sentiments that you could print and cut for your sentiments this month. For my cards today, I will be using the page that focuses on thank yous. I need some thank you cards for this holiday season, so I thought that this would be a great opportunity to get those made. Make sure to stop back by on the third of the month so you can see what the file looks like and find out how to download it for yourself. Right around Christmas time, I visited my local scrapbook store and I bought some pattern paper that I wanted to use for these thank you cards. I didn't want to use Christmas papers because honestly, I'm a little bit burned out with that, but I still wanted to stick with a winter theme. So I bought three pieces of pattern paper from Echo Park's Winter Magic Collection. I loved the blues in this and I thought it would make some pretty thank you cards. I also used four pieces of blue cardstock that I just had in my stash. Are you ready to see that first set? You might have noticed while I was sharing a look at that first set that I did add some sequin embellishments to the cards. I also have different lengths of the flags here and you'll see why in tomorrow's video where I show you the process. Sometimes I would scatter the sequins around the card and other times I would put a row of three here right above that flag. Again, sheet load is just a jumping off point for you and you can fancy it up as much or as little as you would like. Now it's time to find out how you can download the printable for yourself. Now, like I mentioned earlier in the video, last month I made you put in a password and then you had to use that password every time you opened it. I heard you and I realized that was kind of a pain, but I'm gonna be honest with you. Having you watch this video all the way to the end to find out how to download the file is how I pay for the software that I use each month to create this so you can have it for free. I won't go into how much the software costs me, but that penny for your view that I get on a good day if you watch an entire video, I do need that to put toward that software. So I would like to ask that anytime you're gonna come here and download the sheet load of cards file that you watch the video all the way through. I did go ahead and take the password off December 2020, so if you want to go back to that video and download the new file that doesn't need a password, please go ahead and do that. As always, if you're going to download the sheet load of cards, I do ask that you're a subscriber to my channel. I'm not going to make you email me proof or do anything special. We're just going to go on the honor system here. So please, if you're going to download that file, make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. All the way at the bottom of my description box below is a link to a PDF file. You can click on that and you can open it and just view it on screen while you craft, or you can go ahead and print it out. Now, while I usually print mine in color, if you only have access to a black and white printer, that's going to work for you as well. After you make your sheet load of cards, I would love it if you would share them with us. There are three different ways to show us your sheet load. The first one is here on YouTube. 
you can share on Instagram, or you can send in a card for the end of the month video. Now, if you're going to do one of the first two, YouTube or Instagram, please use the hashtags that are at the top of the printable. This way I can go search for those easily and see what you've created. If you're going to send in a card, I have a video linked in the description box below that gives you all the guidelines on how you can send that in. It also has a few more specifics if you're going to share either a video or an Instagram post. I always love to see what viewers create. I hope that you're excited to get crafty and create a sheet load of your own. If you are, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Until my next video, which will be tomorrow where I share my process making this first set, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.